good evening and welcome to our regular slot here on a Wednesday evening. It's Creative Cravings time. Now, for anyone that's new to us, Creative Cravings is all about you. It's all about that beginner crafter, pulling things back, taking it back to basics uh, and really teaching that uh, skill of crafting, uh, which is fun, super easy and just amazing to do. We have the most amazing products on today uh, and I've got uh, one of my my very best friends in the studio with me today which is amazing uh, and that is Craig. Hey you Craig. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good, it's been a great day. It's been a really good day, really fun day, yeah. still full of energy though. I know. Even though we are uh, of course at the end of the day on Creative Cravings but yeah a really a uh, firm favourite from a lot of ours as well as you guys at home because what we get to do is we just get to bring it right back to basics. <laughs> I say that though <laughs> I don't know about you, Debbie, but when I prep for Creative Cravings, I do get carried away. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I do yes. get carried away. Yes. So if you are expecting real back to the basics, I will try and step you through the basic forums, but you will find I'll probably just go on just a little bit and show you other things that you can do. We've got Nature Garden, um, Autumn Blessing Collection, part of it. We've also got our uh, swing cards that we're going to have a look at, and then we've also got our 3D concertina. Now, this is the swing card, so I'm only going to show you one of each, because when we come to each collection, I'll show you a selection of other samples. This was one that I'd done within Wake Up Call this morning. So much fun, and let me tell you, these are unbelievably easy to create. We've got our 3D concertina. So you can then be forming and framing so many of your projects, maybe your photos, maybe your sentiments, whatever you like, you can be framing them with that 3D concertina. And just to show you, they go flat. Keeping in mill, you know, uh, keeping in mind a couple of millimetres, but relatively flat. And then also our autumn blessings. Now, I know we've just hit uh, the summertime and longest uh, day of the year, summer solstice, just last week, because it was both myself and Debbie's birthday on that same day. But these have got beautiful colours when it comes to autumn times. So when it comes to the collection, we'll show you the stamps, the dyes, etc., etc. Think of your sunflower collection that you'll be able to use it with. Think of your farmyard collection that you can use it with. Not just because we're in summertime, it means you can't use it. Of course you can. You can be using it for lots of different occasions, Debbie. Absolutely, and I think you were right, Craig, in what you were saying, because we have a wide audience uh, of beginner crafters right through to advanced, so we do like to show a bit of everything, that what you can do with them. Uh, the basics is all still there for you to learn, but also taking you through all those extra things that you can do as well, which is what Creative Cravings is all about. It's about you at home and us all getting together just to be really creative, but as simply as possible. Now, if you've got any questions that you want to ask Craig or myself, throughout the next couple of hours uh, feel free we are absolutely social which is amazing uh, social at the bottom get social with crafters tv it tells you uh, how you can do it uh, and how you can uh, interact with us throughout the next couple of hours we've got lots of people coming in and join us tonight which is amazing um, Suzanne's in uh, Irina's in Rosalind Mary Jessica Karen Barbara um, Deb on YouTube I like that nice and simple um, and and as always, looking forward to today's show. Um, I like the season's greeting, Constantina card. Yes, it was amazing. And if you didn't catch the earlier show uh, for the Masterclass, no, it wasn't Masterclass, it was this morning for Wake yeah. Up Call. Um, you'll be able to see uh, Craig uh, make that card because it is absolutely beautiful. Um, but I do believe Craig's got a couple of demos lined up with that throughout the next couple of hours, which is amazing. So let's start off with the swing cards. Craig is going to show you exactly how you can use them, but I have to say he was absolutely correct in saying how easy they are to use. If you just want to make a really beautiful swing card where you put that die into your card, you can. But what you do get is you get different dies to go in it. The butterfly one offers you the little butterflies, so uh, accent to any make that you're doing. The circle one gives you those beautiful aperture dies. So these ones in the center, you've got a mini set of uh, nesting dies there, which are incredible. And you can see just from one movement with your card, 
how that swings backwards and forwards. So they are incredible to use. Lots of different designs. I'm only showing you where you can use one on a card, but Craig will have many samples to show you how you can put two, three, uh, however many really on your piece of cardstock that you've got uh, to make it look absolutely amazing. And then we've got the heart design one again, uh, created, uh, ma creating, making that uh, swing effect, which just looks incredible. Um, they are £41.50 today, which is great value. You are saving 20%, uh, which is an amazing, uh, amazing sample of them. If you do want to cherry pick and you only want the odd one, they are £12.99 each. So actually the best value is in the main bundle. So get them all. If you already got maybe one or two of them, if you buy the bundle, you can always gift them, can't you? Or uh, have them for presents. Uh, these are great to use, I think, Craig, um, especially if you're in like craft classes um, and you have those sort of craft groups that people get together because they're just one of those dies that's, a, a, I, I say it a fair bit, but it's a one pass wonder. It is. You cut them, yep. you've got your card made straight away. So I'm sure you're going to show us that, just how easy they really are to do. I, uh, I am. So for this one, I will be showing them in the simplest form, uh, what you can create. Uh, when I say measurements, I mean that loosely in the factors. You get a little, rough little guide of measurements for a uh, starter card size you can be creative you can make it bigger or longer if you want to that's up to you but what we'll do is let's show you some finished samples first and foremost because depending on the shape that you use you could be popping whatever you like in there so if we go in with that hex skin one like i showed you with the bumblebee one just beforehand that we've done in wake up call you can pop that in the middle you can pop a sentiment in there you can pop a photo of a family member loved one in there if you want to or use your character stamps from your twirling characters, your penny sliders, your tag dies, you know, your animals with attitude stamps, all these. Can you imagine one of these with one of the little giraffes or that heads just sticking out the corner there? Have fun with them, which you can absolutely do. What about just making a card in a very simple form, not even using it in the concept, using it as a band on the front of your card, which you can do. But then you can go in and start to use these in the different ways. So if you want to get creative, this one has been sitting flat for a wee while. So I'm going to tell you what, I'll sort that one. We'll come back to that one later on. But what you can then start to do is do twos and threes. And, you know, if you want to do fours, you absolutely can do. So you've got different words, different sentiments you can pop onto there. You know, for instance, mum. And then all you're going to do is once you've got the basic of the simplest measurement form started, you can then start to work that in with whichever size cardstock you want to use. You know, go in one on top of the other. You're not having to do any specific measurement for a style like this. All that you're going to do is extend that die further down. The dies themselves in the card blank measurement that it gives you, you can be doing it within a Gemini Junior or a MIDI. Of course, the larger the card that you use, you're going to need your large Gemini. Just to point out as well, you don't have to have a Gemini to use these. You can use any other branded die cutting machine out there. But of course, with the depth of the dies, the pressure of the Gemini, these work absolutely perfectly hand in hand. So you can still do your Z fold cards. You know, you can still do your concept cards. You can have fun with them. And each of these come, apart from the butterfly, but all the other ones, they come with really useful matte and layer dies. And the butterfly one itself comes in handy with uh, three additional butterflies that you can be using. This one, uh, you can do it side by side, as you can see here. So all that's done is having the die upright and then turning it upside down on the other way. And then that's how you get the different angles. So much fun, but not having to do anything other than changing the die onto the other side. So I thought what these would be good at, and I gave a little bit of a tease as to this one on my Instagram yesterday, just with the dies and cardstock laid out, not actually letting you know what we're going to do. But what about a new baby? If you've got a new baby coming within the family, a really nice one to bring in your Gemini mini dies. So what we're going to do is let's go in with the circle die themselves. Now, on the back, that gives you a basic guide as to, well, to get you started. So if you want to go by what it says, a piece of cardstock that's five and a half inches by six inches. And then what you're going to do 
at two inches in, you're going to do a little pencil mark, top and bottom. That is it. That's all that you need to do. However, in saying that, if you wanted to have your die further along, you can do If it was longer card stock, uh, higher card stock, you absolutely can do All that's going to do is change the position of where the swing card is. But to make it in a really simple form, following the measurements there, this is what we're going to go and do at two inches in. And then what we can do is take in our low tack tape. What I will do, just to show you, on the opposite side, most of the circle, part of the circle has a cut and edge. Here and here, there's no cut and edge, but you do have the score lines included. Also, to say top and bottom, there's no cut and edge. So therefore, if your cardstock was longer, and if you wanted to do a double one, all that you would do is cut one part, then you would move that one up to the next part, run it through your die cutting machine, and that's how you're going to create that elongated effect. So simple, but all that we need to do is come along, and now we're going to pop the left-hand side of the score to our pencil line, and all that I'm going to do is tape it down with my low-tack tape, and as we know by now, whether it's day in, day out here at Crafters TV or just from today, I'm using my junior, but it will go through your midi as well. Let it pass. And you're going to see in a moment, Debbie, because um, well, it was yourself that launched them or done the craft along, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Two folds. Two folds, that's all you need to do, and that's the mechanism done. Which I just think is absolutely... For something so simple, it absolutely blew my mind when I was playing them with them yesterday. There are times, aren't there, in crafting that we just want something quick and simple. We do. Uh, at, we really, really do. And that looks amazing. And these definitely do that. They really do. They really do. And the thing is, as well, with these ones here, I did point it out this morning, but up until yesterday, I was familiar with them. I knew mm. we had them, but I'd never used them. I'd never had them on a show, mm. never used them at home until yesterday. And you'll see what I'm away to make here is what I'd done yesterday, and that was the first time, because they're really easy. So all that I need to do, you've got two score lines, left and right-hand side, that also continue at the bottom here. So all I'm going to do is mount in, so basically fold back on itself, and then our next one, valley, we're going to fold in on itself. And now what I would do, any score lines, I would always recommend giving it a burnish with your scoring tool, a bone folder, and that's it. I mean, that, it, it that does, you're it. right, it does blow in your mind, doesn't it, when it is so, so simple So, like so that. simple isn't it really really is so what we can then do is i'll show you how you can do a panel of these ones in a moment but let's get in with the matte and layer dies so we've got our main circle we've got our little it's, it's, it's kind of like a perforate perfor, perforation line or a stitched line easy for me to say <laughs> and then you've got a little mini scallop Die. I love that die with that so, stitch edge. It's so handy, it's isn't it? It's because it's a it's really cute. big stitch, which is lovely. Or it, perforation, like you say. Yeah. Or tried to say, Craig. Try, <laughs> yes, tried to say. <laughs> but then if, if you're into sewing or you, you like adding extra um, detail to your cards, you could go in and stitch in between these lines if you wanted to. And then let's not forget, if you wanted to add additional layers, bring in your own nest and dies if you want to. Nothing stopping you. But all that we need to do is we're going to go in. This is baby pink centure apparel. So let's just tape them both together. And then I've got a piece of our multi-purpose cardstock. And all that I need to do, Debbie, is run these ones through. Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it, how quick and simple. And actually, those type of nesting dies, because they're smaller nesting dies, are going to go through so many different other forms of your crafting. Uh, and I love the fact that uh, you have those 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 di different stitched edges, uh, which makes crafting up to a, a, another level. So, uh, what was that, Liam? Liam, a nice variety of different edges, exactly. And you're getting that with all the different ones that you're getting, which are amazing. Apart from the butterflies, but then you get your embellishment butterflies, which are amazing in themselves. That's it. Handy little ones, and then even little ones like that. What they're going to do is. Um, Add an extra aspect to your vintage butterfly collections or oh, yes, you know, any butterfly themed collection cardstock that you've got. So now that I've die cut these ones out, what we can then do is then layer them one 
into another that we've got Lovely. here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit this one down uh, out to the side just now. What I'm going to do is this morning I showed you a way in which you could create your panel for the side here. What I'm going to do this time is I'm going to show you another way. And that involves actually die cutting your die again. So you can either draw around it with a pencil and then cut it out. Or this is the same size bit of cardstock, five and a half inches by six inches. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up once again, the same way I've done within my white cardstock. And then I'm going to run this one through. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my guillotine. And this is where pencil, as I showed you this morning in Wake Up Call, if you find that a little bit too tricky, then do it this way with the guillotine. And what I can do is take that away. I'm going to go in with my guillotine. Now, what I'm going to do, Debbie, is I'm going to cut right down this first score line and right down that second score line. OK. So I'm going to follow the score line and then cut and then follow this score line and then cut. And then all that I'm going to do is trim off a couple of millimetres, top and bottom and side. I mean, so easy, isn't it? Not That's that I want it. to put your crafting down, Craig, no, obviously. No. <laughs> it is but so it's, easy. it's so clever how you can just make those exact fitting shapes to go in with your shaped cards. That's it. And all that you need to do is pop that Perfect. up side by side. I'm going to pull that down slightly so it sits in, nestles nicely. I'm going to take a little bit off at the bottom here. There, I'm going to take another slither off the side. So this bit, it's just by eye. Have a little look. Maybe you want a full border all the way around. Maybe you want a subtler one. That's up to you. But by following that same step and just trimming a couple of millimetres away, you can do that. It's personal preference. It's what you find easiest doing, whether it's with a pencil and cutting or going in with the guillotine. So what I'm doing the top bottom and then the opposite side I don't me personally I don't do this side because I like it to be snug against the side of the mechanism but if I come into this one here and then once again nicely snug I'm going to take a bit off the bottom there and for this one this is how I done my layers so I'm just going to double check this one and then there we go a really, really simple way to create a matting layer for something that's got, a, well, a little bit of a, uh, a unique aperture within the middle there. Absolutely. I think that's a great way. I mean, I thought the way you showed this morning, so if you want to see Craig's make from this morning and Wake Up Call, go back and look at that. And he did it a slightly different way. Uh, I think it's so good to show those different ways. And actually, you had just do what, what suits you and what works for you. But I think that's a really simple, easy way to get that perfect matte layer, which is amazing. Well, that's how I thought I would leave this way until Creative Cravens. So it's, uh, for me as well, I've, I find it the simpler way. Mm -hmm. So that's why I thought I'll wait till Creative Cravens. Uh, just in case you wonder what I'm doing, that's what I've just done. Nothing different. The only difference is I've already got my tape on ready to go. Um, that's the only difference. But I'm going to match that one up to here. And match this one up to here as well. And these are one of those cards when the recipient receives it, that they're, they're going to look at it, they're going to play with it, wondering how you've done it and what you want and hope they'll be like, you didn't make this. <laughs> Do, seriously, did you make this? <laughs> You'll be like, yeah. Absolutely. And actually, Craig, it's a good point because a lot of cards that we do concept wise, you have to try, you might have to put instructions in on how to work it. You don't with these cards. No. Because even if you just leave it stood up proud, it looks beautiful in its own right. But I think it, it's one of those cards you just know how to work it. It's you amazing. You do, don't you? Yeah. Really, really simple. You get that idea straight off the bat as to how to use it. And then all that I'm going to do is I'm going to mat and layer these ones on flat. Then this one, what I'm going to do is pop on foam pads. And I thought what worked really well was a relatively new Gemini mini dies. 
Oh, yes. So I've just taken that little baby jumpsuit and then from our element dies, our sentiment wads from the past, I've gone in with It's a Girl. Oh, lovely. What a beautiful card. You know, and then you can come in with the date if you wanted to. You know, what you could do, you know, if you could, on the front one, although we are going to have these ones onto there, but if you're able to get a little picture of the baby, it could be the picture of the baby and then maybe the date oh, and the time that would be on nice. the opposite side Absolutely. there. Um, or if you haven't got a picture, then you know it could be the date and the time and some other That's little a You know what's really good, what you've just given me the idea for, Craig, is you could actually send them out to say, welcome your baby to the world. You know, people send out and say, like, yeah. we've, we've had a baby girl, baby boy. Uh, you could actually make these really simply by sending those out. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. You really, really could. A really nice idea as well. And then that's the thing, once you start to make one, and then you'll start to think, oh, well, that would be good for um, that slight reveal factor if you're wanting to reveal something. You know, if you are just wanting to send best wishes to someone, or have a little, uh, little play. It has a knock-on effect, doesn't it? Because you start designing something and then you sort of think, oh, that might work and this might work and, uh, and then you just get creative. You do. You really, really do. And that's what's... I, I find hard, when, I don't know about you, but when I'm prepping at home and I'll maybe be using a specific product and then another idea will come out of my head and I'm like, oh, I really want to do it. I don't have time. Do I have time? Can't, can't, I've got time to, <laughs> to, to follow through with that idea. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to hold back and be like, no, I'm going to have to wait until I've got yeah, a little exactly. bit more time to sit and play. But if I go in with these ones here... Do you write one. notes down like that? Because I often draw myself a diagram as well mm -hmm. um, of things that I think might work so I can go back to them uh, and check on them. Yeah. I also have a note section to, in my phone Snap. to remind me to go back to, to look at things yeah. because I also, that I've got a really big habit of screenshotting things that I like and then I completely forget about them. So <laughs> I remind myself now to go and grab them and put them into an album that I've created of craft ideas. So, and, and, and yeah, and I've been really good with that lately and I, so I can just go straight to the album and know that everything is in there and I don't have to scroll through my thousands of photographs on my that's phone. such a great idea because i do exactly <laughs> as you say debbie I've got my notes on my phone i if it's something in my mind a, a, a diagram or a layout that i'm wanting to to uh, remind myself of i'll do a sketch yeah. and i will take screenshots and they just build and build and build in my photo album the other thing I do is if I need to write something down or someone's given me like the, if I've, someone said, oh, this is this concept and it's an, a word, I text it to someone. It could be anybody. You might get a random text from me with a really odd word, like saying diorama card, but it wouldn't be, it would be more than that. Yeah, yeah. just so I know it's in there and I've not forgotten about it. Ah. <laughs> I'll send you one one day, Johnny, just yeah. so you don't feel left out. <laughs> That'd be good. <laughs> yeah. Just get a random message from you saying, swing your card. Yeah. Like, mm, okay. Debbie, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Loved one's going, um, who's this? <laughs> saying, swing your card. But yeah, that's funny that. Randomly sending that message. <laughs> But popping that one on, and then let me just grab, let's just finish off with a couple of pearls. I've got a couple of tiny, tiny ones. I would usually put a tiny bit of our tacky glue on, but for speed, I'm just going to pop this straight on there to finish off. Let's just pop that one, move that in. I'll do one more into there, and then there we go a really, really quick and simple. What I would do, I don't actually have another bit of baby pink cardstock left over. What I would do is that outer die, I would die cut that again in baby pink and put that one onto the back, just so that it's not white, but you could pop something else in there if you wanted to. Same with this strip, if you wanted to cut a strip, 
pop that one in. But there we go, the swing card, the circle one in the most basic form, following those measurements that you do get on the back of the packaging, although you can make them bigger, you can make them wider, you can have a lot of fun. You can do one, you could do two, side by side, offset, one on top of the other, lots of different things, ways that you can use them. That is so pretty, Craig. So that's what I call a clean and simple yeah. card uh, and so effective and it looks amazing and very designer looking and it's what those dies do for you, which is incredible. Um, anyway, we're going to get on to something else, which is a little bit exciting. We have our hero tool. Uh, when we talk about a hero tool, uh, it really is something that is core to us at Crafters TV. Um, it's uh, These are amazing and you can't do without them. So if, you, if ever you've heard us talk about um, uh, tools of scoreboards, uh, this is what we mean. And honestly, none of us here, and I'm sure lots of people will say in the crafty world, they can't do without a scoreboard. Not just any scoreboard. The first one we're looking at is the score master. Uh, this is one of the four pieces that you are getting in here. These are $43.99, which is exceptional value. Um, and you will just love every single one of them. Now, what the score master offers us is an A4 size. You won't get a black line down the middle of yours, by the way. We put them on and um, it just helps us to line things up. So it's always a good way. You also get the tool in the top, so you actually get your scoring tool to go with it, which is really handy, so you don't lose that. Uh, it's portable, so you can take it to all your craft crops and your craft groups, um, or even just pop it down the side of your craft desk, uh, and it's amazing. On one side, you've got inches. On the oh, this side, you've got inches. On this side, you've got centimetres. So whatever you work in, it covers you. On one side, you have a box lid making side. On the opposite, you have your box uh, uh, your box base making side. That's just one of the boards that we've got in this collection. Now, what else when you make cards would you need? You would need to make envelopes. Um, this is the, oh, sorry, we're still on the box. I thought I picked up the envelope one. This is the boxer. Uh, it's a slightly different one. So you can see it's got this one. If you've got an Ultimate Pro, will link onto your Ultimate Pro. Uh, but this also makes boxes and it's got all the increments that you would need to be able to make those with. The next thing we have, now this is quite special. Uh, the Envelope uh, Plus was something that Sarah developed when she first started the business from her uh, university bedroom. Only this board was made out of MDF. You might, some people might still own the MDF one, but what this does is an exceptional board to, gr to create envelopes with, which is amazing. We've then come up with the Envelope Box, which means you can make bigger envelopes and actually bigger boxed envelopes as well. Uh, so both are amazing at what they do and you're just going to be able to create different sizes. So that's our hero tool. It's $43.99 today um, with a, an amazing saving on that. So if you want a hero tool, uh, that's the one to go for. Right, the next one, I'm just going to pop that to the side and bring in our nesting frames. Now, these have been really busy today. You've been loving them. They only launched last Thursday with myself. Um, they are beautiful in their design. When you think of nesting dies, you think of dies that nest into each other, which is exactly what these do. But what they do, do, do offer, they offer three frames that nest into each other. If you die cut them all at once, you will get three different frames plus this inside. So you see the white around here, which is easier to see and the white here and the middle section for your sentiment you will get that cut out as well so these are amazing now you're getting the ditzy floral in the rectangle uh, the ditzy floral in the square we've then got our scalloped edge which is in the square and we've got our scalloped edge in the um, rectangle which also have a slightly stitched uh, embossed print into those as well so really pretty designs uh, then you've got our cross stitch edge you can see those little cross stitches all the way around those dies again in the rectangles and then again in the squares which are amazing now I'm just going to show you this little sample which are just just the, the sort of things that you can do with this so let's just show one sample before we move on uh, doing a triple easel card is amazing and just going up in sizes uh, rotating them you can see and all the bases are just stuck together uh, that's amazing it hasn't got anyone's name on it so I'm thinking one of our uh, uh, team has made this which would be amazing but it's so pretty and so beautiful now the next thing I'm bringing in 
in is, and I, I love what Craig was saying earlier, you were saying, Craig, about using it with the sunflower collection. Uh, absolutely brilliant idea because you're getting the most amazing leaves and embellishments with this. Uh, you've got a saving. Did I hear you right there, Johnny? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I had to look again. I thought, he didn't just say that. He didn't just say it was £17.37. I, I don't even want to tell you that it's £17.37 because that's way too cheap. I want you to pay more for it because it's worth so much more. But uh, grab it while you can, £17.37. £13.90 if you're platinum member. I mean, mm. go for this one. It's amazing. So your leaves you can use all year round. Love this one because the, the, it's got the inside veins. So you can take them out if you don't want to use them. Use just the outside edge for matte and layering. So amazing. Uh, we've got the gorgeous wood slice, which is uh, ever popular. You can use that for so many different ones. Um, I love this one. Just your thanks. So even though this was done for autumn and your Thanksgiving, and I, I just think we have a lot to be thankful for. And that's a gorgeous dye to have. So not only are you getting that really large die uh, matte and layering, you're also getting all your stamps to coordinate with that as well. You're getting all your autumn blessing, blessing thankful and blessed um, stamp set there, and you're also getting your heartfelt wishes. Again, lots there that you can use all year round. You're then getting this really large uh, one, which is the Harvest Festival. This die on its own, stamp and die, is worth £17 on its own. Um, so actually, um, you can have all the rest for nothing. How about that? Amazing. Uh, so if you love your colouring, you're going to be able to use these. Look at this one, pumpkin patch. I just love this one. I think it's really cute. Um, lots of things you can do with that. If you love your colouring, uh, stamp these out and, and, um, and see what you can do with them because they are absolutely incredible. And at a saving like that today, um, I think, if there was ever something that you could do uh, these are the ones you want to put in your basket aren't they Craig because I know you've yeah. got some stuff to show us with absolutely yeah really really do um, it's, I mean for that price is but we, we say it about Christmas Christmas comes around every single year so does autumn do you know what I mean you're we're not going to come across an autumn time where there's no leaves or there's no pumpkins or turnips or sunflowers or anything like that it's not going to happen so to have it at this price having it in your stash you know you can use it year after year you can use it if you got a crafter's companion advent calendar last year where you got that big sizable pumpkin work it and use it in conjunction with this one here of course um or maybe you've just got a nice selection of autumn themed colours, fall themed colours, start to use them together. So before we go on and get a bit creative, let's show you what you can be doing with these ones here. You can start to layer up. Now, keeping in mind the background papers that were used with this finished samples I'm showing you, came with the original collection. The sample I'm going to do in a moment, I'm actually using the sunflower paper, so you'll see how well that they work together. I mean, but look at that one, going in with your uh, squash patch, your vegetable patch there, creating your concept card with that lovely verse on the front there. You've got your outline leaves, your skeleton leaves, and you've got all of that scene building done within one stab. So as I said earlier on within Masterclass and Wake Up Call, if you like to do your own scene building with your pebby or drawing gums and your masking sheets, you can do that with the other stamps. However, with this one here, it's got stamps already done with for you, the layering, the aspect to it already done. So you can keep them very simple as well. I believe this was actually one that I'd done in a demo. Oh, must have been earlier on this year. Or not. It must have been, yeah, because I was I was still off right up until Christmas with my ill health. And then I came back in January and I'd done this. So I must have done this. Must have been well, I was actually waiting to say, this must have, I must have done this sometime in like a January sale or something. And if that's the case, there's no way that you'll have got what we've got today at £13.90. Never. Never in a million years. But let's go and let's show you some other ones that you can do. Get creative with the concept so you've got different style of that 3D, that pop-out element that you've got there. Here's uh, another Z full card here. I mean, look at that one there. If you love your colouring, then you've got lots and lots of stamps that you can be colouring in with this one. Always 
as I always like to say as well, if you, you like your colour, but if you feel a little bit daunted by blending and shading, don't forget you don't have to do that. Lay one light tone down. If you've got tri-blends, you don't have to use the three colour families. If you just want to use the light, use the light. If you want to use the mid, use the mid. Or if you just want to use the dark, you absolutely can do. But if you do like your blending or shading, you can start to do that. The embossing folder, the stamps, isn't that absolutely beautiful? Last but by no means least, I mean, look at that. Change of colours within this one here. Absolutely beautiful. All equally as beautiful as one another. They just look different. So let's go in. We're going to do a form of a bit of a stepper card here. So what I've got is I've gone in with my cardstock. Multi-purpose, of course. And I've cut it to five inches by 11 and a half. Pretty much uh, the full. Let me bring this piece in here. Yeah pretty much the full length of A4, just trimmed it ever so slightly. So that's 11 and a half by five inches. I've scored at half an inch, I've scored at seven and a half inches, and I've scored at nine and a half inches. So this is going to create the front of my stepper. This gives me my little tab at the top because I've got another piece here that I cut to five by seven, and that is going to go onto the back there, which is going to create my card blank with my stepper at the front. So let's do that just now. Let's bring in my tape here. And the elements that I'm using from this collection, I'll bring in just in a second. I'm going to do some color in, but the papers that I've used are from the Sunflower collection. Even the linen card is from the Sunflower collection. You can see by the time I've finished this one, how well it all looks just beautifully together, Debbie. So let's go in here. So I need, we're going to go for the thanks. And we're going to go in with, where's my wheelbarrow? Where's my wheelbarrow? Here it is. I've got my wheelbarrow. So this one here being the Harvest Festival. And you've got the dies to go with these ones here. Can fussy cut if you want, but you don't need to. The dies are there. And let's go in with the wheelbarrow. With the pumpkins. I'm going to go in with sunflower. And I'm going to go in with a small squash as well. And let's stamp that. Nina cardstock. I'm going to stamp them on with our Noir Black alcohol proof. And then I'm going to use a selection of tri blends. I'm going to go in with citrus blend and light yellow blend. And then my tri blend brush markers. I'm going to use grey, brown grey blend, dull green blend, and earth brown blend. Whew, they the are a mouthful, those names, aren't they? <laughs> it's the blend at the end of them all. <laughs> it's always the blend that catches me out. So Karen Fisher, she is saying that she has this collection. Uh, great price, so if you don't have it, you need to get it. Absolutely. Um, and uh, yeah, so for your last card, Craig, everyone's saying very sweet card, great card. Um, uh, Deb on Facebook saying about the triple easel card that we showed for those nesting dies was amazing. It certainly was. Um, so yeah, keep your comments coming in. So uh, we'd love to hear from you. We are uh, completely social on here. We are indeed. Um, yeah, absolutely. And uh, and you can get in touch with us uh, on all these different ways. So on Crafters Companion TV, um, at Crafters Companion TV, uh, Crafters Companion, craft, Crafters Comp TV, not Companion Comp, um, and Crafters Companion. Right. So, um, Craig, I love the fact that you've brought in the uh, sunflower collection because a little bit like the last collection we did for the masquerade ball, we don't have the pads no. anymore for it. So it's nice that we can start incorporating other pads within that collection. Well, that's it. I still have a bit left over from my um, Autumn Blessings collections. But as we established from uh, Masterclass, if I used that one, I, Johnny probably would have lost it again. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so I thought, well, I still want to use a paper and, you know, to prove kind of the point I was making that the sunflower one works so well with this one. Perfect. Absolutely. Beautiful works well with this one of as course. well. But I just find the sunflower one is just absolutely perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and do a bit of colouring and blending. I do have them all done, but we'll start off. We'll go in with some colouring, alcohol colouring, and then we'll see what we can uh, get up to. 
Lovely. So Craig, did you realise that we have a brand new warehouse? Do you know something? I, I only realised maybe a couple of months before it opened yep. that the building I was passing on the way to yep. work around the corner, <laughs> massive building, was actually going to be our Me new too. warehouse. And it was just so happy yep. was in conversation with Johnny. Absolutely. One morning. Yes. So talking about our warehouse, we have now moved to our brand new warehouse. Um, and just to let you guys know, thank you so much for your patience because we know that uh, we're trying really hard to catch up on all those orders and get them out. And they are working flat out. I can't even begin to tell you how fast they are working how many people are getting involved uh, and trying to get your orders out as quick as possible you know us we don't want to disappoint um, and honestly just be a little bit patient because uh, we're going to get those orders out to you as soon as we physically possibly can um, but they are working really hard and once that's all up to date with uh, it's just going to be amazing because the warehouse now is amazing it's huge like uh, you, you can only imagine the amount of stock now that we can carry um, and and, and it means that you won't be so disappointed uh, when you can't get hold of your product. So uh, we should have plenty to go around. But thank you very much for your patience because uh, we uh, we just aim to please. That's what we want. Absolutely. And we want you to be thoroughly pleased with when you get your order through. And I can tell you how hard they've been working, as they always do. I know some of the guys and girls next door in head yep. office have been going in to help. I can tell you uh, because she was in taking photos and I was speaking to her, Caitlin on her social. Mm -hmm. She was in just the other day wow. as well, helping out as yep. well, getting uh, helping the guys and girls out, trying to get out as quick as they can. Yep. So, you know, as much as they're doing their best, they're, they're dragging a load of the office in as well to get, uh, Absolutely. get help done. Yep. And that's the type of team we have, don't we? You know, everybody mucks in, helps out wherever they're needed. Birthday week, yeah, is uh, crazy. Everyone goes and helps in birthday week, which is fast approaching. I don't want to wish the summer away, but we're talking about autumn here. Um, you know, before we know it, it's uh, it's going to be uh, October time, mm -hmm. November, Christmas. <laughs> yes. And Apologies now for wishing the year away, because I'm really not. I love the summer. I, I know you love the summer, and I'm yeah. not wishing it away either. However, I am determined, Debbie, to be back this year for our birthday event, because I missed it last year because I went off sick where all yep. this had started mm -hmm. off. So I missed birthday event last year. So let me tell you, I am determined. Well, I will be. It's October. Um, but I'm determined to be back for them and boy, we're going to have some fun. Absolutely. It's always the biggest event of our year is birthday and we have what we think we save the best um, that we have all year round just for our birthday, which is amazing. And to the point, you probably don't know this and I probably shouldn't even be saying, but we're actually not allowed to take time off in October. No. That's how big our birthday is, which mm -hmm. is amazing. And actually, like Craig, we don't want the time off. No. We want to be here. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Loving this colouring, Craig. Looks amazing. Thank you. So this one is the Earth Brown Blend from our Tri Blend brush markers. And all that I'm going in, going in with the light, um, adding a bit of dark, blending it out with the mid tone. Uh, all I can say, you know, if you want a lot more in depth, step by step, hints, tips when it comes to alcohol colouring or uh, water based colouring, go on to our YouTube where you'll find lots and lots. Uh, certainly, if uh, you're going for the show Colour Me Happy, if you're relatively new to us, Colour, Colour Me Happy, which originally used to be on on a Friday, it's now on a Sunday. So, as you can probably tell by the name, it's all about colouring. So I would certainly say, although you will find our tri-blends, classics, sparkle pens, aqua pens, all of them featured on all of our shows, you will find the full in-depth tutorials, step-by-step -step info across on the Colour Me Happy. So gone in with that one there, let's go in. I'm going to jump to the brown-grey blend and I'm only going to go in with a lighter tone for this one. This is what I was meaning earlier on. You know, if you feel a little bit dawn and a bit scared about doing blending, you know, or it's something that you want to work up to, you can absolutely use each colour individually. You don't ne necessarily have to blend them all together. It could be something that you're working up to. So, gone in with that one there, and then I'm going to go in with my 
dull green. So I'm going to go in here, do a little bit of colour in when it comes. You've got amazing light and shade in that. It looks really cool, your wheelbarrow. You've done that brilliantly. It's, it's one of those that, gosh, that must be, when did COVID first hit? Was that three years ago? March 2020, when I had to take time off again because I was having a shield for the 20s. Craig, are you ever here? I'm never here. <laughs> Ben's always on holiday. I'm always off sick. Never here. Never here. Um, but yeah, that's when I fully, fully went, right, let's nail this alcohol colouring. Yep. Colouring has never been one of my fortes. And even to certain areas at the moment, you know, I still go, right, just take a step back. I thought, right. Classic. I felt I'd, I'd nailed the tri-blend, very, very simple and straightforward, but I thought, like, classic pens. Just try and think of them as a tri-blend form. Instead of three separate pens, think of them as, mm -hmm. as one pen. So certainly over that 12 weeks of um, isolation, that's where I really felt that done myself proud and yeah. justice by going in with alcohol colouring. So, and um, it's all it takes is a little practice, isn't it? And, that's a, mm -hmm. and sometimes, I'm, I'm like this with many things you know I might want to start something and I do always finish what I start but sometimes life like anything it gets in the way Absolutely. you start something you want to learn something and you think you're doing okay and then you think right I'll, I'll take a little break I'll come back to it in a couple of days or that whereas because I was forced to sit in my house and chill out yep. and watch tv and that to pass the time I had that time to keep focusing on the colouring yeah, and absolutely. It's the one, my biggest regret is I don't have enough time to keep practising. So you're right, having that time when yeah. you can do it is, uh, is just amazing. It's, it's one of those, and I always remember, a, it was a, another craft expert, not, not here, other channel, and they said once, you know, what we've all gone through has been a horrendous time. We're all, it's, it's history now, it's always going to be history. We need to also find some of the positives, you know, out of it. And one of the things is, okay, I've got time to, you know, look after myself in those 12 weeks, but I, I got to learn something as little as colouring. Mm -hmm. But the achievement that has given me going forwards to show you guys if I'm on Colour Me Happy or that, the way that I've learned and what I've learned from watching our shows because yep. you know I do that if I struggle I've always said that you'll see it on my ins Instagram sometimes if I've got a product or something that I've maybe not used a lot I'll go on and I'll watch any of you guys that's done the launch we all do it yep. and it's just thinking of a positive out of what was a horrendous time now, don't get me wrong I know we're still living through it but but actually, Craig, you say that I was, I've been thinking the last uh, sort of week when I've been out and about, we've really got to that stage where we just, it's just become normal way of life now. Yes. It's almost like it didn't happen. It, it is, isn't it? Uh, yeah. And I know, I know to lots of people it was devastating times. Um, you know, it, it was horrific, but it's so strange now. It's almost like we were living in a dream. Um, yeah. And, and we're just thankful now that we've, we've come through it the best that we could possibly possibly do um, as a nation as a world exactly um, but you're right I think a lot of people if they're honest would say they got so much out of it and a lot of that was to take a bit of time for themselves uh, find a new hobby have something that's mindful yeah. to do um, and I think that's continued I think in the crafty world people are now coloring more uh, die cutting more doing some crafty stuff doing something for themselves um, instead of always running about and just not having uh, a life because life is busy it is it really it really really is and it was one of those where for me it was I think it was something like week four Debbie and I was I was thinking I, I, I can't do this I can't yeah. be locked up any longer um, and I remember I sat on the stairs in my house because I was in that dilemma when it first happened yeah. I was on a holiday in Scotland with my family and friends and I thought right do I stay with them, and we are such a close family, but we'd probably end up strangling each other. <laughs> and plus, because of my health, they would have to watch what they were doing. Yep. I thought, so do I stay here, or do I go home to my home comforts, whereas I had 
you know, you guys, which were amazing, Joe would do my shopping. You guys know this. Joe would do my food shopping. I would do his washing yep. because he was always yeah, here. Yeah, I remember, yes. And yeah, it got to week four and I thought, I can't do this. And then I remember sitting on my, my stairs in my house and I thought, right, be realistic, Craig. What you've been asked to do? You've been asked to stay at home where I have my craft room. I've got, I had my Sky TV. Yep. I had all the streaming sites. You know, I was fortunate to have a back garden, although at the time we still weren't recommended to go out even in a back garden. But I thought, really? You're, you're being asked. So many people, you know, so many of my friends, Ashley, who was an is a nurse. She was just on the verge of passing. She was one of those that were right, right, you've passed, you, you need to go into the wards. That's actually, and funny enough, I just, you know, that's, I just got a graduation today. Oh, wow. So, you know, you thought, really, it puts a lot of people into perspective. I'm being asked, Absolutely. stay at home, craft, be safe, and then yeah absolutely amazing yeah which is amazing and we were very lucky to have crafting in our lives as were so many other people um so jessica's saying yeah she loves to color um yeah a lot of yeah and johnny's yeah. just saying he's right a lot of people found us in lockdown which was really nice so and we still have lots of you uh, people with us as well um lenia said why don't we do a little video of the new warehouse and put it on the website that's uh, quite a nice idea yeah absolutely when we can find some time, Lenny. <laughs> uh, she's also saying, Craig, we can't wait till you're back on our screens. Steady on, Lenny. You know, he's, you've still got him for another day and a bit, so uh, we're bit. OK. We'll be saying that tomorrow to him. But, yeah, absolutely, we all also uh, wish uh, Craig back on our screens as soon as possible. Uh, Laura is saying that she loves her Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. Um, and that's the thing. I think it's you have to try these things and not be frightened yes. of them because they are are really easy and I know everyone says we make it look easy but genuinely um, you will find the more practice you have uh, you know what Craig I think our Academy of Colour has been just a yes. saviour for colourists out there uh, I've seen so many posts and inspirational posts and it's amazing you are all doing so well with that uh, and what you're being able to achieve through just a few weeks of learning with Leanne to colour is absolutely amazing um, so if any of you want to do that, I'm sure we do still have some of the Academy of Colour uh, and you can you get then the, the code to go on and, and watch these videos, which is incredible. And you could be colouring just like Craig is now. It's, uh, it's, it's such it's an incredible thing. And then, you know, if you get your products, anything that's Spectrum Noir base, which of course is Leanne's baby, but what I would say, you know, we, we're doing incredible deals in that, of course we do. You know, but yes, our pens, alcohol pens can be a considered purchase. All that I would say, there's a reason that world-renowned artists are using our Spectrum Noir yes. pens, alcohol pens, watercolour pens, anything like that. There's reasons as to why they're using them. They've, they've had the luxury of using all the other brands and that, but they're now coming over our Spectrum Noir range because Absolutely. they feel that they're getting that best look. So, uh, so yeah, give it a shot and see. You won't be disappointed. Well, they look amazing, what you've coloured in there, Craig. Thank you. The only one I, I did uh, forget to bring in, I went and got it, was Burnt Orange Blend. I'm going in with that, with my pumpkin and my pumpkin patch there. That's nope. another one of my favourite colours, Burnt Orange Burnt and orange. Magenta. Ooh. They're like my go-to colours, and they go really well together if you're doing a sunflower. Oh, do they? Mm, layering them. They go really well. Yeah. Mmm. I was, um, funny enough, it was just, just last week, I dug out my uh, elements from the advent calendar last year and was playing with the, the pumpkin stamp. I should share what I made because then you'd be able to replicate what I'd done, but with the pumpkins from this one. If you've got the advent calendar, so many did, you'll know what I mean, it's a pumpkin, but it's quite a sizable stamp and die that you got with it. So it's a good one to use in conjunction with this one. But gone in there with the pattern paper, I've gone round the edges with a little bit of honeypot water reactive. So let's take my tape off here and we're going to set our scene using the stepper. So let's bring this one in here. So this is going to be our backdrop that we can see there. Notice as well with this one, I've not quite left 
my quarter of an inch increment matting layer that I tend to do, I've left it a really fine layer. I do that sometimes, sometimes if I want that sharp look when it comes to the main background of papers, I'll keep a really, really thin layer. And then sometimes I'll do my quarter of an inch. But let's go in with this one. And now I'm going to go in and I've got some of the twine from my stash. We've done a few collections now. Vintage Diaries is one where we've got some twine. And all that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forwards. I don't wrap mines all the way around, Debbie, because I don't want to waste it. Mm -hmm. What I do is I'll show you again. So I'll start there and then I'll wrap it round to where I want and then I'll fold back on itself. Ah, very and then that's very clever. Crossover. Very clever, Craig. Fold it back on itself and then go back. It's all those tips and techniques, isn't it, from different people. And you think, wow, yeah, why have we not done that before? Yeah. Uh, it's just non-wasteful, isn't it? You know, when it comes to a twine, you always get loads. But there's three, three wraps that I've done there. If I had wrapped it all the way around, that's six I would have done then, I know. technically. That's so clever. So, I, I wrap it all round. Yeah. What? I, I'm very wasteful, Craig. <laughs> And then I'll always put a bit of tape afterwards to hold <laughs> it in. I'm not going to waste any more, though. I can't waste it after now seeing you do that. The, the thing I is... I have learnt so much today, Liam, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to be so, so, so honest with you here. If it's my products that I've bought, I will do this. <laughs> if I'm using the studio set, our products. <laughs> I may then just quickly wind it all the way around. I'm with you, Craig. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I'll maybe do that. But yeah. Um, so they, they, they're little uh, nuggets of, oh, that's Craig's own collection he's using there because he's been, <laughs> yeah, he's been a cheapskate. Yeah, we now know, yes. He's not took that yeah. from our uh, samples Oh, he's here. gotted that card stock. That's his <laughs> card. Oh, he's not but, gotted it. But that's a brilliant idea because you would never know, Craig, looking no. at that. You would think you've wrapped that round three times. Mm, yeah, just secure. Even if you did wrap all the way around, what I would always say, if you wrap anything around your twine, your ribbon, anything like that, please put an additional layer of uh, double-sided tape or red liner tape. Even if you're not using that tape, even if you're using a wet glue, still put an additional layer over the top to hold it in, just so it doesn't pop out. But do that with anything, ribbon, twine, whatever it is that you are using. Let's pop that one on. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go in here with another foam pad and my pumpkin. And that's going to help secure that front of it because I'm popping my foam pads over the top. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go in just with a little bit of our tacky glue at the bottom. I'm going to tuck that one underneath. I just need to lift that one first, which is there. And then what I'm going to do is let's take a couple of pieces of card also from our sunflower collection and it's the linen cardstock. So I'm going to run these ones through. So we've got our thanks die and we've got the outline to go with it. So what we can do... Is I love this thanks die. Such it's, a handy, it's, it's nice It's really handy looking. and it's just a really nice font. It is, yeah. And it's a, because it's such a substantial thanks, it works well as a focal point on your card. So instead of having a, a focal point, a, a topper, whether it is a stamped impression or a topper out of one of your collections. You can absolutely have this as the focal point. It gives you the focal point, it gives you that sentiment all in one, and all you need to do is add a little bit of decoration around the edge, should you wish to. But let's take that one out. Let's take this one out. Popping these ones on. So let's just take this one, going in here. I'm using my tacky glue again. Think of your other tools that you've got within your stash. I know we talk about either our dotty tape runner or our sprays. Remember, you've got your self-adhesive sheets and that that you could be using as well. If you've got the little one and a half or two inch Xyron, you can be using them as well. So handy things but we're going to lay that one over the top, straight over the top, 
press that in. And with this die, what you've got is sentiment stamps. I'm not going to stamp them out because I've already done them last night. But we've got, uh, with grateful thanks for everything that you do. Aww. So that can go at the side. And now I'm just going to set that there, that there, and then that can tuck underneath. Just want a rough idea as to where it's go. Thanks, I'm going to lift on pads and then the two sentiments. What I'm going to do is sit that flat and then I've already tied a twine bow. So that one is going to sit here. And let's bring in our tape. So just a line of tape there, a line of tape here. And once I've attached that, I'll just bring in my glue gel. So I'm going to do it for everything that you do with grateful. Pop that back. I absolutely love that. Bring in that one in. And then what I'm going to do, just because it's a little bit empty down there, we're going to fill it with a little bow down into there. And then there we go. Wow, oh, that is perfect. What a stepper. beautiful card. And combining the sunflower collection uh, with that beautiful, and can I say, bargain price. Bargain. 1737 uh, or 21.79. You really do have to grab that now, guys, because it is the last of the stock of that one, and it won't stay around at that price. Uh, just one of the dying stamp sets in that. It costs 17 pounds alone. So you're just getting all of that thrown in. Um, for the goodness of our hearts I think so uh, right a few more comments um, we have lots of people commenting on the uh, pandemic so thank you uh, Lynn is saying that she feels so lucky to have CC in her life during Covid um, and either side but crafting has helped so many through the pandemic um, so I totally agree with that um, that they've found so many new friends as well which is so important uh, Mary Pat said she feels so grateful to the arts and all the wonderful friends in the community uh, uh, Betty has said that during that time uh, she doesn't know what she would have done without Crafter's Companion um, and uh, we've got, so nice suggestion Craig, a big saver on material yep, so that was with the twine uh, great wrapping uh, tip Craig absolutely um, and uh, Jay uh, Reese Rex Reckham, uh, I'm not sure if I've got that right, but it asks if uh, the collection uh, do dies come with the stamps. Yes, the stamps do come with the dies. Um, and uh, Beth has said, lovely card, Craig. Love how you can mix the collections together. Uh, that is so true. Uh, now, you've seen that we do a price for the uh, actual um, products that we're doing, and we also do the uh, uh, club member price as well. So uh, uh, we'll give you a bit of time to just check out your baskets and here's how to shop Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend and the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Quick buy, all your crafting must-haves in a flash. Draw, decorate, and customize your world with the colorful Spectrum Noir acrylic paint markers. Each premium paint marker gives opaque coverage on ceramic, glass, wood, and let's not forget paper, cardstock, and canvas. These versatile markers are filled with highly pigmented premium water-based paint, 
offering beautiful, rich, and smooth coverage. The colors can be blended together and the fast drying opaque paint is ideal for layering. A three millimeter bullet tip offers smooth strokes and a precision valve mechanism allows rich and consistent flow with no clogging. Quick buy, all your crafty must haves in a flash. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Quiet. Ah, oh, the neighbors. I'm all out of Zoom. I'm so lost without you. I'm not, I'm not singing, I'm not singing. Lisa, if you email in, don't send a picture of your air fryer. Make sure it's something creative. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like, um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. Joy, there's not a dry eye in the studio here. <laughs> Debbie's welling up, I'm welling up. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. I'm just saying thank you to John for giving me some lovely water. So that was timing. Uh, literally just shot across the camera there. So, uh, <laughs> oh, well, you might be coming back. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was coming back. Thought he was coming back. <laughs> he's sneaky, isn't he? But he did bring me some nice water, which is lovely. And Craig, a nice cup of tea, which is even better. Um, so we're going to move on now to these concertina borders. Craig showed us a little snippet of sm this morning in Wake Up Call. Uh, they're amazing. They're called Constantina uh, 3D borders and I now understand how they work because I hadn't seen them before only in samples uh, and they're so easy and they are amazing to do the first board I want to show you is the vines now you are getting both of these I'm going to show you two balls for 23.98 which is incredible you are saving 20% what you can see here is you're getting three different dies one that creates a corner one that creates your mid piece uh, and then another piece that creates a slightly smaller piece which means and I really got the concept of the when Craig was showing them earlier that you can make them as big or as small as you want and I love that idea so if you want to do a square frame you can if you want to do an oblong frame you can if you want to um, frame this actual board you could do that as well they're just incredible um, and the one we're looking at here is the lace design so the two different designs you're getting for $23.98 or $26.95 uh, and I do believe Craig you've got a demo to show us with this one I, I, I do agree. I, I do have to say, many of you probably do not know what I'm on about unless you're here in the UK, unless you watch it on BBC America. The last time I heard the word oblong, you know the comedy, The Royal Family? Yeah. With Jim Royal yeah. and Barbara Royal. It was a Christmas special. They were all round at Dave's and Denise's for Christmas. And they were uh, putting over uh, who, when it comes to the prawn cocktail and soup, uh, bread. Yeah. And someone had oblongs and someone had... Um, Square. triangles <laughs> and it was just oblong and um, I, I know it's just oh oblong and triangles and tri which are the same yeah. really aren't they <laughs> <laughs> and just that was the last time I, I heard that word oblong, and it's just. Yeah, it's just I don't know why I said that. Actually, it's normally yeah. rectangles, isn't it? So um, um, yeah. <laughs> oblong. Oblong. It's a funny word now you say it. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's not, let's not go into uh, that subject again of words that we like. <laughs> yeah. The word I yes, like you is have to plunge. be careful with you, especially. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> Here we go. So this is one that we made actually within Wake Up Call this morning, showing you how you can use the dies in different ways. Because when it comes to the dies, what you've got is in each set you've got three, three dies. You've got a corner one which is two inches. You do get a centre die. You actually get two of them. One of them's two inches and one of them's three inches. And that just enables you to expand on the framework that you're doing. So within this one, you can see I've done a, cor a corner on each corner. I've put in the three inch. 
same at the bottom, but I've chosen to not use one of the centre pieces at the side here. I could have used another three inch, I could have used a two inch if I wanted to. I could have used a three and then another three, or a three and a two. You've got different uh, numbers that you can use. So that's going to uh, change the size that it's going to look. So what I mean by that is it could be five by seven, it could be eight by eight, it could be 12 by 12 if you want to. You can frame so many different sizes. So you can, maybe you only want to frame certain bits have a framework at the top and the bottom, nothing at the side. You can absolutely do that. This one here, kind of similar, but what we've done is done them at each side, but left a little bit of a gap, top and bottom. Really good for framing your photos, but think about your floral decoupage as well. Go all the way around. So this one's using the four corners plus the two inch one in between each of the corners there. Another one here, but this one's actually been backed with acetate on the back of it that you can be using, going in with your sentiments, funny enough, using the thanks from the Nature Garden Collection, the Autumn Blessings there. So this is now doing it onto a gatefold card. So you can see you can do it on an elongated gatefold card, or maybe you want to create a little bit of a scene. You can frame that work as well. Couple, couple, put a couple of strips down the sides, that's going to enable it to look like a box. However, I do bring this one back in. This is when you've got that concertina effect there, because that's what it does. That mechani mechanism, that mitered corner that you've got there that the team have come up with as well, just works and fits perfectly. So with this one, what I'm going to do, within Wake Up Call, it showed you how you can do a complete frame all the way around. With it being Creative Cravens, let's keep this one very, very simple. And all we're going to do is use four corners. That's it. And we're going to frame a couple of elements from the Nature Garden Autumn Blessing Collection. And for this one, I'm going to use the vines for this one, which has the little roses in. So this is where you've got the corner, you've got your three inch, and you've got your two inch as well, but I only need the corner. So I'm going to take some linen, or cream, not linen, linen, uh, cream or ivory centura pearl, and I've already got two cut out, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut another two of these with our junior, and then we can come back, and then we can start to assemble them together. So let's pop that to the side. I've got a little uh, six by six card that you'll see in a moment. So let's take this one out. So pop all these bits out here. Even the score lines are included that you would uh, know and expect by now. But let's pop and carefully prise that one out. So even the work, even although they're 90 degree corners, Debbie, the detail, there's nothing missing whatsoever the rows, you've got the vine, you've even got that lace sort of look to it. So let's take these bits out. If you've got your tool, of course, you can use that one. We'll finish this one with our pokey tool. But what you can also use with these ones, with a little bit of snipping with your scissors, you can just snip away these parts here and use them as little uh, decorative photo corners if you want to or corners for your memory books or scrapbook pages so you don't have to use them within the concertina way if you don't want to you can still get use of the decorative part but in a flat flat uh, That's position. That's a really good idea yeah absolutely. So we'll do that once more once again just through our junior here run it through that will then give us our other two that we need and with these ones if you've been watching us for a while you'll have heard us when we've fold our score lines we'll say mountain and valley fold if you're relatively either new to us or new to craft and I'll explain that just in a minute in simple forums for you to fold so let's pop that one out so taking that bit out there now we've got all four of them so we've got all four good to go don't worry at the moment about oh gosh what what way are the uh, what way are they to go don't worry about it all that we're going to do just now is start folding so the edge next to the decoration in actual fact what i'm going to do liam is i'm going to do it on the purple mat i think maybe we'll just see it a bit better there we go perfect ah uh, liam's going right in there he's going right in 
Charlotte who? <laughs> if you're watching Charlotte, I'm joking. I'm joking. Um, so what I'm going to do is the score line next to the, the die cut detail, I'm going to do a mountain fold. We say mountain fold because it's as if it's a mountain. And then our next one in we're going to do valley. We say valley because it's like a valley. And then our next one we're going to do mountain again. And we're following the score lines already included there. So we've got one corner there, and then that is the start of your concertina. You're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. So we're going to do mountain, we're going to go do valley, and we're going to go and do mountain. And then this is, I know I was on about it this morning, but something so simple where this part here, we'll show you just in a moment, but that's going to attach to the back, as if you are crossing over and making a box. That's going to go into the back. But look at that, that fits absolutely perfectly, snugly, that mitre corner. So when you have that concertina effect, how fab, easily pleased I am, easily pleased. <laughs> the simplest things. I'm like that though, Craig. Absolute perfect It is the fit. simplest things and it is it amazing, really is. isn't it? Now we can come out with all of the interlaced dies and 3D embossing folders and all of that, which I get excited about, you've seen me but something like that, it's just perfection every single time. And all that I'm going to do, Debbie, is exactly the same, all four of them. So mountain, valley, and then mountain, and then we're going to do mountain, valley, and then mountain, carrying all the way around, but every single time, you're going to get that perfect mitered corner, no matter what you're going to be framing, absolutely spot on. Carry on and just work our way around. Yeah, they, they just fit perfectly, don't they? It really was like the penny dropped when you demoed them earlier uh, because I hadn't realised that you could make them any size, your yeah. frame any size. Um, and I think that's so perfect that you can just create them quite simply. Uh, you could have a day of just die cutting them, uh, mountain and valley folding them so they're all ready to go. And then Absolutely. you can just join them up for whatever project that you've got. I think actually... What I'll do, Debbie, is just go off piece just for a second. I think visually, this is another good way to show it. It's easy for me to pop these dies flat on the glass mat. However, if I do that, which we did do in Wake Up Call, you've got all the extended arms of the die. So I'll tell you what, let's do the corner. Let's do the three inch. And then let's do the two inch. Have I got, let's see, have I got room to do it on all of these ones? Actually, it doesn't really matter because all that I'm wanting is the detailed bit just now. So if I do it, sorry, Johnny, there is a, a reason that I'm doing this. He's going rogue, I'm Johnny. Going rogue. He's going rogue. <laughs> we are. It's, I think as well, we finished samples and us verbally saying you can do five by seven, you can go uh, 12 by 12 or eight by eight. You can have the corner and then you can have a three inch and a two inch or you can have two three inches or two two. Easy to say that, but let's take these ones off and let's visually show you without them all in the concertina effect. So let's take that one. Let's take that one and then let's take this one. And now what I'm going to do, so I've got the three that I need. So let's just for the sake, let's cut away and cut away. So just pretending like just they are. Just pretending, uh, yes, yeah. That they are concertinaed. So pretend that they're concertinaed. So let's bring in our purple mat again. So we've got our corner actually i've got one spare so let's do that one and that one so we've got our two corners there so we've got our three inch which is great or you could have the two inch which is great or you could have the two inch plus the two inch to give you your four inches but you can have the three inch and the two inch to make it longer or you can have your two inch, your three inch, you can have another two inch that's then going to extend it all the way round. And you don't have to have that 
at this side. So if you want it to be shallower, you can have your corner, two, three, two, and corner. But this bit, you might only want your corner, a two, and a corner. So therefore, it's going to be shallower, but you've still got that width. So have a play. Good way to do it if you're unsure, do what I've done, cut them into black card or that. These aren't going to go to waste. They're going to go into my craft boxes. These are going to be good for maybe a little pull-in, you know, with our, um, uh, not our memory books, although you could use them for that, organiser sets or that. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. You can perfect. have them over there. Mm -hmm. I just thought maybe that was a, a nice visual way just to show you how you can have a play about, you know, it could be three, three and three, two, two and two. It's and it makes lots of sense. And I love also that they come in that two inch three inch yeah. what are the corners are they two inches as corners well? corners are two inches as well so which is perfect so if you look at and four of those would make a beautiful exactly. little um a Actually, centerpiece a one, yes, um, but yeah so you could use your three inch in the middle and your two inches uh, each side and then your two inches that would create a, a your perfect scrapbook frame for 12 inches it would wouldn't oh it? it's 11 inches did i add that up wrong did i add that up wrong Three, like four, that. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It is eleven. Yeah, I, I, I've done that wrong. So you, you could do two threes, two threes, three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen. Might have to do it slightly smaller then. So you could slightly do, smaller. And actually, two corners, three twos, three, two threes, and a two, and a two. Yes, you'll be better at maths at home. <laughs> Where's Corin when we need her? <laughs> but I do really like that idea of being able to frame your entire scrapbooking page. I think that would look amazing. It and would, then you could even still make an, another one inside with your photos. So, uh, Absolutely. yeah, lots of ways of doing that. I also love that you can cut them about as well, Craig. Um, yeah. And even though you can make a lovely 3D frame, you could just do flat frames, photo corners, good, yeah. uh, all of that. Uh, yeah, your box lids, which would be amazing. Amazing. So, uh, yeah, lots of things you can do, which I the, love that. There is. There really, really is. So if anyone that was still a little bit unsure about what do you mean about two threes and a two, et cetera, et cetera, maybe that will uh, give you the, uh, the So, idea. Ro has asked uh, what the word Constantina means. I always thought it was a card fold. Oh. So Constantina, I think, is a zigzag. It is a zigzag fold, isn't it? It's just, and yeah. I think that could be in lots of things. So, uh, is it the organs that they class as um, Constantina? Um, they do that, don't they, as well? Um, and also, um, what's the other thing they do? There's a, there's a like a shape that you make decorations with, and that's Constantina as well. Oh yeah. Mm. Um, oh. Yeah, I can't think what they're called. Um, the billows, yes. Uh, and uh, Natty has said that was a really good way to explain them, Craig, so thank you. There was method in my madness. Method in my madness. You know what, I was just reading a comment and I didn't read who it was coming from, but it just says, Debbie and Craig, I'm watching you both outside the Black Friar by the Thames. Um, you're both smashing it. It's actually my owl that just texts that in. <laughs> I was thinking, I'm sure he's in London today. He was, we, we went past the Blackfriars on, at the weekend. Aww. So, hi, Al. <laughs> oh, I've not seen him since last year. I know. Yeah, Let's hope year. we all get together again this I year. I hope so. so. Uh, we normally have a big sort of hog roast do and uh, we do like a summer, yeah. summer get together. That's it's the only right. time we can all really get together, isn't it? So, yeah, um, I think last year as well, it worked in with the launch day of Strictly, didn't it? It Sarah? did, yeah. that's exactly, yeah. We ended yeah. up watching Strictly, that was right. Yeah, yeah that was a really good oh, night. Yeah. Al's an absolute hoot. Absolute <laughs> hoot. <laughs> With his dad jokes. But, well, I didn't see them as dad jokes. I thought they were hilarious. <laughs> Right. Yeah, but you find Ben hilarious as well. well that's very true. He's king of dad jokes as well. That's why he likes Al's jokes and Al likes Ben's jokes yeah. because they are just dad jokers. Yep, dad jokers. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're a, oh no. <laughs> and then other times they are very, very funny. Very funny. Depending on your mood. Yeah, like, that's, uh... that's true as well. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not another one, please. <laughs> <laughs> All that I've uh, done beforehand is I've taken some pattern papers. These were from my big block, my 8x8 one that came out originally with the 
Was it, the, it was either the Year of Crafts or the original Compendium box. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't remember the title of it. Anyway, it's from one of them. And a few mats and layers, five by five inches. So I've popped it onto my craft card. So what I've done is I've popped some of my tape all the way around. I find it easier by doing it the other way around. So what I'm going to do is in this, so if I show you there from upright, so this base layer, what we're going to do is we're going to tuck that in and we're going to get that nice even into the corner there. It's like a real mitered corner there, it isn't is. it? It just works so to well. To perfection. Absolutely perfection. Going in there. When it comes to the corners of these, treat them as if you're doing the corner of your boxes and you will be good to go. So press that one in. And what's nice, because they are constantinas, you can push them down and really get your glue to stick, can't you? That's the thing, exactly, yeah, 100%. So, you know, if you're, it doesn't matter whether you're using tape or tape runner or glue, as you said, Debbie, I'd always recommend Look go back and that. That looks down. amazing. And that is just using four corners. I've not used the three inch or not used the two inch. And now all that I can go and do is go around with my tape runner again. So the versatility of these dies are amazing. It's crazy. Mm. It's crazy. For something, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say something as small, die-wise, collection-wise, potentially one of the most versatile die sets yeah. out there. Take away collections in that, but I just mean actual die sets. You would not think these are as versatile mm. as they actually can be. So, yeah. So, going to go in, I'm going to centralise that one, press that in, and I've already cut these elements. These are all from that Autumn Blessing collection. We've gone in with the thanks again, because it's such a handy die. So, these are cardstocks that I've used, for a range of Centura Apparel and our craft card. So this glue really isn't liking me today. So Rachel is saying how nifty these are. She's not seen them in action before, only the finished samples. Uh, and I think nifty is a very good explanation. They are nifty, nifty little yeah. dies uh, that do so much. Um, and uh, Fred17 on YouTube is, or Fred, sorry, 171 on YouTube is saying the precision of these dies is remarkable. Um, I, I mean, they are, aren't they, Craig? They are. Well, absolutely. Are. You, all you need to do is just look at these mitre corners I showed you and then positioning our mats and layers into place. It lets you see how absolute pinpoint pre precision they are. I love what you're doing here. You're mixing some of the things we've got on the show tonight, I, uh, Craig. I couldn't help it. Could not help it. I thought, let's go mix a couple of them together. And because we've got that 3D concertina, I'm going to go in with foam pads. So these can go into the middle. And if you wanted to build that centerpiece before, you go and um, pop your concertina elements in, you can do. But even if you do, your corners, oh, like I can't love do that. this. Really simple to keep going. Build your layers. Let's pop one last here into place. Pop that one off. Let's tuck that one in. Oh, Craig, I love this card. It's beautiful. Underneath. It's a great card. And then, again, last but by no means least, let's go in with another bow that I've tied using our twine. That can go into there. And then there we go. That is lovely. That Absolutely five five amazing. Card. I love that. What a beautiful card. Really, really lovely card. So if you want those Constantina 3D border dies, remember there are six elements in there for $23.98 today or $26.95. Amazing value. Uh, platinum price, £19.18. Uh, so a really great one to do. Uh, so uh, we're going to go into the luxury card stock, which is uh, incredible. Uh, we've been showing this so much because you are buying it 
in uh, in droves. You're absolutely loving it. And I think it's because we have Christmas coming up. And also, I mean, I don't know if you know, but we do have this as our core cardstock all year round. So we've always got our luxury cardstock in, um, in stock. But we never do it at prices like this, which is incredible. There's a 30% saving on this. You're getting 90 sheets in total with this one, which is the greens, the reds, and the golds. What you can see is you're getting glitter cardstock, you're getting your shiny cardstock, and you're getting your matte mirror cardstock. And that's in the red as well, which is a beautiful. Uh, that's like that really deep red, which is gonna go for so many, almost that, that ruby red shoes, isn't it? It's just amazing. Uh, and then you're also gonna get the gold as well, uh, which is a real old gold, which I love. So you're getting a beautiful uh, gold, uh, different tones in that with your, again, glitter card, your mirror card, and your matte mirror card. And then just to show you just how beautiful all of this is so lovely. So I think you get this in, in each. Uh, I could only put one sheet of each. You are getting 10 sheets of each of those. It works out 18 pence a sheet, which is amazing value. Uh, so grab that and stick that in your stash because you're going to be using it all year round, but especially with Christmas coming up, uh, which is amazing. Now, it doesn't just stop there. We do have some other colours available. Uh, these are the ones that I love. I am definitely more a contemporary girl. I love pinks and blues and greens. This is beautiful. It also has my favourite in there as well. So not only that beautiful, uh, I keep calling it pink because it is sort of like a, a fuchsia, but it comes, it's, per, it's uh, purple, which is amazing. Um, but it's a beautiful colour. The blue is so exquisite. I've not seen mirror card in this colour before, so it's absolutely amazing. And then obviously that silver is incredible. And actually, if I just bring that blue up to the silver, you'll be able to see you've just got a slight tone of pale blue, like a real icy blue on this one compared to that silver one, which is amazing. And also, just going back to this silver, um, this is brilliant, Craig. I don't know if you've ever done it before, but die cut out the glitter, color it in with your markers. You can make it whatever color you want and it will show up that true color of whatever your alcohol markers are. Uh, so that's a really nice one to do. And I'll just show you that in its full glory fanned out. All of these, and remember, 10 sheets of each, you are getting 90 sheets in this pack. This one is a really modern Christmas um, and it's 90 sheets in total for only 19.98 today. For that price, maybe you could just treat yourself uh, to a couple of, uh, of extra packs of those. Now, swing cards, which is what we started on. These are incredible. Uh, a good price today as well. You're saving 20%. You're getting them in different um, sort of variations. So you can see the first one we've got is the heart. Uh, Craig showed the first one of this in the first demo and how they just sort of swing into play um, and, and create the most amazing cards. You don't have to just cut them once on a card. You can cut them twice, three times, uh, create letters on them, numbers, whatever you want to do, really personalize your cards. We've got that beautiful, and this is my favorite card of Wake Up Call. Craig made an incredible one, uh, which was absolutely amazing with a B theme um, to represent that hexagon style, which is amazing. And remember, you're getting all these hexagon shapes inside, as well as with the circles as well. You're getting those extra sets of matte and layering dies, which just look incredible with whatever you do. 20% saving today, £41.50. And the last one, we have then got our butterfly one. The butterfly one is the only one that doesn't come with nesting dies, but it does come with a few different um, sizes of those beautiful butterflies, which you can use in any collection. $41.50 today or $47.80. Uh, so let's just have a few uh, a little look at some of the comments and see uh, what we've got on here. Um, so loads of people join us tonight. So welcome to uh, Crafts TV. Uh, you're watching uh, Creative Cravings, which is like a beginner's show, but it, it teaches you right from step by step. And Craig's doing an absolutely amazing job uh, with amazing demos. Um, any, any teacher would love to have some of these corners for their bullet uh, boards uh, in a classroom. Uh, that's a brilliant idea. I love that, Fred. 
um, and Shannon saying that she absolutely loves the cardstock. Such a beautiful card, Craig. Wonderful card, cards. Uh, yeah, lots of love for your cards, Craig, which is amazing. Um, so we have got, I haven't got any samples. Craig might have some samples that he'd be able to show us. Um, are you ready for our demo, Craig? I am indeed. Let's show you some finished samples before we crack on again. So this is one uh, actually we've done earlier on there. We can see here, the only thing to say, in actual fact, incidentally, this is the one that we've done earlier. We can see here this one. What I done, actually, I forgot to say this to you earlier on. See how I've put a layer of this pink gingham cardstock? Ah. The way that I showed you how you can create this layer here, I done exactly the same. So I die cut the uh, pink gingham with the die. And whereas with the pink Centura Pearl, I trimmed away a couple of millimetres from a guillotine. I'd done the same with the gingham, but just a few more millimetres than I did with the pink gingham. So it just made it that little bit smaller. So if you still want to do a few mats and layers top of each other, you can absolutely do that. And also, Craig, if you're just using that Centura Pearl, you could emboss that like you were absolutely. doing with the techniques earlier. It would look amazing on that. Wouldn't that look mm. fab? That would look it's really, beautiful. really I love fab. this card. So fun. Yeah, it's it is so fun. Such a great way of using your stamps that you've got at home. You know, sometimes, um, you know, you, you sometimes don't want to just use your character stamps or your penny slider stamps for the, the concept that they were intended for. These are a nice way to use them up. I love that card so much. This is the one we've done in uh, Wake Up Call. Yeah. And what I will say, actually, when it comes to this demo that I'm away to do, I'm away to do something similar on the back here with the mats and layers and that. So in order to save a little bit of time on Creative Cravings, the section that I'm on about, I would refer back to Wake Up Call this morning. But I'll uh, just talk you through that when we do the demo in a moment. So a few other ones, because you can be using them. Let's show this one again. So you can do larger ones, wider ones if you want to. You do get a very rough measurement guide. I say rough because you really don't need to have any knowledge about these whatsoever. You get a starter idea measurement size and then what you can then do is create your own size wise. So you can continue them so you've got two higher up if you want. You can do them so they're elongated like I'm away to do just now. So let's move these ones out the way for now. And now what I'm going to do is I've got a piece of, uh, this is just linen cardstock that I've got. I keep saying linen card, it's not linen card, ivory card. It's smooth ivory card. You could use linen if you want. And I've cut it to six and a quarter by eight and a half. So six and a quarter by eight and a half. So I'm going to come in with my Love Heart die. So treating it the same way as the uh, instructions would step you through for a card blank size. I'm going to go in and I'm popping the left hand side of my die to my pencil line. So I'm going to go up to here. So I'm going to tape that one and then tape that one. So what I'm going to do, ah, oh, look at that. I need my large Gemini. So tell you what I'm going to do. Let's pretend I've ran that one through just for time. I don't want to change over to my large Gemini. We've run that one through as I done earlier on. What we're then going to do is we are going to then flip your cardstock around and then we're going to do a, a pencil line at one and a half inches. So we're going to go in at one and a half inches. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come into here. So let's, we don't need to flip it around. That's the way we've done it. This one, what we're then going to do is come down to, where's my pencil mark? One, three quarters of an inch. So we're coming down three quarters of an inch. So see where the base of the love heart is there. I've got my pencil line that's three quarters of an inch up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place that one on into position. So I'm going to hold that one in to here. 
So always best to work out your positioning then before you actually put them down to the card. If you're going to uh, do a different kind of concept, then yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do the positioning. So then what that's going to do is that's going to give us our heart cut at the top and then we're going to have our heart cut down at the bottom. What you will notice though is obviously there's no die. This is when your scoreboard's going to come in handy, Debbie, is you're going to take of course, yeah. what would be cut so that's how it's going to be cut. You've got your heart on the left-hand side. Then what you've got is you've got your heart on the right-hand side, which is further down. So all that you're going to do is, although I've already done this one, I'm going to come in with my scoring tool. And let's go. I'm going to pop that one. Let's go in that way. There we go. So where my score line is from the love hearts, we're just going to extend that. Same with that one there. We're going to extend that. So we're creating in a different position. So let's fold that one back and then let's fold that one back. I'm going to go in the opposite direction. I love that score balls can really come into their own, even for the simplest of cards, can't they? The simplest of cards, absolutely. So I'm going to go in that way and then with the love heart, let's pop it. Let's just get it that way. And then that way. So then we've got one that swings. Oh, I love that. And then we've got one that swings here. So that's how you're going to do a doubler. So if I set that one to a the doubler. side. A doubler. A <laughs> doubler. Love going that. To go in for a doubler. Now this double is trouble, John. Double is that, trouble. That's us, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's us too. <laughs> us. Double trouble for us. <laughs> Mm, you're saying poor Jamie, Johnny, for tomorrow. Jamie from Creative Expressions. We both know Jamie very, very well, so it might be triple trouble triple tomorrow. Triple trouble, triple trouble. Triple trouble Jamie's tomorrow. always trouble. <laughs> In the nicest of ways. In the nicest of ways. <laughs> Eve is saying that you're, Craig, you are the king of Matt and Laird. <laughs> Matt and Laird. <laughs> It would have been funny if my name was actually Matt, eh? Matt Laird. Matt and Laird. <laughs> Didn't, um, when you had a crafty name, when we was doing the, the wars, craft wars, wasn't you called Matt and Laird? Craig, Craig, Matt and Laird, oh, something like that. Oh, yes. Like, it was Debbie Diecut Robinson and Craig, Craig Matt and Laird. Matt and Laird. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember what it was, like something that, like that, but I can't remember what it was, yeah, yeah. and I thought it was very clever, whoever came up with It was really names. cleverly yeah. done. <laughs> really, really was. Oh, gosh, yeah, I forgot about that, Debbie, yeah. Oh, gosh. Yes, he got, um, he got beaten by yeah, Leanne. By Leanne. I, I yeah. did say, Leanne's going to win at everything. I, I, you always put I your money on Leanne. I agree with you, Johnny. I had to let Leanne win. It's only fair that I let Leanne win. <laughs> I think the best thing about that whole thing was Leanne's speech at the end. <laughs> yeah, that was a good, that was a good so speech. Was, that, that puts anyone at the Oscars to shame. Uh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I think mm -hmm. she's been practising that for years. I think so. Mm, I think yeah. it was fixed. That's how she had such a good speech. She knew what she was going to say in It advance. was well prepared. Well prepared. <laughs> well prepared. <laughs> We no, had this some fun. Is, this, it was so much fun. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I hope we bring it back someday. Absolutely. Just not in the next couple of months. Let's just wait till I'm back. Oh, yeah, we'll wait for you, Craig. Don't worry. Back. <laughs> now, remember at the start, I was saying what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the elements and refer back to wake up call. So, this is the part that I was meaning with the bumblebee. So, what I've got is I've gone in with my uh, hummingbird paper. And what I've done is I've cut panels to fit all three sections. And then all you're going to do is you're going to go and either draw around with a pencil, like I've done with in Wake Up Call, or you can use the die itself to create your mat and layer. So although the pattern paper's already done for you, of course, the bumblebee, I stamped the bumblebee beforehand and went over colour. The only extra I've done instead is gone round with my uh, true, true black classic pen. So that's how we're going to get that concept. And now I'm going to add these ones with my double-sided tape, and then we can go in with the matte and layer dies and start to decorate each of the love hearts. I love these papers. These are another beautiful paper. Mm, really beautiful. I think, 
I think what I'm, I'm going to do is once I've um, had my operation and I'm home and I'm recovering, because I was open with you guys at home, it's the recovering that's, that's going to take the while. Once I'm at that point where I'm free and uh, allowed to just, you know, get up and about, potter about and that, I'm going to look through my paper pads and I'm going to take notes just to remind me of all the incredible ones that I've got. So when I come back in September, fingers crossed, and we've got other shows, of course I'll be high as a kite because one, I'll be back with you guys, <laughs> and two, hopefully you'll have left me some Christmas goodies to uh, play with, and we can then start to use them with upcoming uh, demos. Absolutely. This is beautiful. Turn that to be a gorgeous card. So we've got our left and we've got our right love heart. So what I'm going to do is I've gone in, Debbie, I've already cut these ones because I know that we've got very, very little time left. I know. Another quick show, Craig. Honestly, I don't Can't think believe. genuinely. And I mean, I think shows go quite quick. This day has flown. I don't think I've been on quicker Absolutely. shows. Absolutely. Absolutely flown, flown by. I can honestly say, hand on heart, this is one of the quickest shows, mm. quickest days I have ever, Absolutely. ever done. Absolutely, Liam. Oh, it's because we're with it you. Is. It's Liam, because Liam's here. No, it's because we're with Debbie, let's face it. <laughs> I love you, Liam, but it's because we're with Debbie. Absolutely. Um, you got to love all our honesty, haven't you? <laughs> we've got to. We've got to. Although, I, I'm not blowing smoke. I know you don't do a lot, Liam, but you've done an awesome job. Well, actually, I was, I was genuinely thinking earlier, you wouldn't think Liam didn't do you it every wouldn't. day. No. You absolutely wouldn't. I know, you've directed beauty, you tell us exactly when we're on air, when it's us, when we're not, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. When you're good. counting down, very so good. Craig, shut up, stop talking. <laughs> that, yeah. The only thing I was saying with Liam not doing it very often is he's probably been more polite than ever <laughs> oh, before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is. He definitely is. Aren't we lucky, though? We do have great teams. No matter who we, we work do. with, we do have a great time. We really, really do. I'm loving the colours on this. It's very romantic. Very yes. romantic. Don't start, Debbie. Do very I, yeah. romantic. Well, I was thinking you were saying certain lady, a person's birthday is coming up soon. This would be a perfect card, Craig. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Yes. Could very well be. I'd pinch it quickly. So we've got, <laughs> I've layered them up. So yes, very pastel. I know pastel's quite strong at the moment. I love pastel. Mm, me too. Uh, our ivory on top of our mint green, I've kept flat. And then my little uh, smaller love heart, I've gone in with our foam pad there. And then what I've done is I've popped a gem on that one. So I've got two of them, exactly the same. Is that because she's a gem? Got the gem, <laughs> got the gem, little gem there. So I've got two there, and then I've got another two here, which are completely flat. So the only thing I've not done is added a gem into the centre here. So what we can then do is if we bring this one in, so the one with the foam pads, let's add foam pads, even more foam pads. Because even though this is a swinging concept, you can still add depth to it if you want to. You don't have to keep it completely flat. You are a um, foam pad uh, king as well, aren't you? You do love your foam love pads. Love my foam pads. I uh, use quite a lot of foam pads nowadays, where I never used to. Yeah. Used to always be the um, the glue gel, but now I use quite a few yeah. uh, foam pads. Glue gel, you, you'll tend to see me for attaching embellishments on, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's always, always foam pads that I'll let uh, use. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these ones here. I think, I think, jo I think Johnny's asking you if you're making a mess over there, uh, Craig. <laughs> so Johnny's asking, Craig, where his backings of the foam pads have gone? Um, I think, yes, they're just going on the floor. Look, let's John. face it. <laughs> they go straight onto the floor. In my defence, in my defence, I do that at home as well. And then... Craig, you're not at home now. I sweep up. <laughs> 
but what I will say as well is, and I, and I will always, I will defend myself until the cows <laughs> come home. As soon as we finish this show, you'll find me with the broom in my hand. Oh, I love that, Craig, because I am exactly the same. And Tracy always moans at me. She said, I do that. I go, no, yeah. you're not clearing up my rubbish. And I always do mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I think it's a good thing John will, to do. John will be the same. He's like, oh, oh don't worry, mate. I'll, I'll do that. It's like, no. I've made the mess, Absolutely. you guys. I've made the mess. You guys have got enough to do. They do like have enough to do. They work tirelessly to backstage. Everybody does, which is amazing. They really, really do. So it's like, no, nope, I've made the mess. I will sweep up. So that's why I don't feel bad making a mess because I know I'm going to sweep it up. Absolutely. After. So I'm going to pop that one in. A couple of strips that I've done to go into the panels there. Then I've gone in with my little hello die. Now this really is a good couple of years old, this hello die. Had hello, had celebrate. I think there was let's party. There was a few of them. So a little bit of our tacky glue. That one I'm going to pop there, press down, and then there we go. You could put panels on the back if you want to. I'm not for the sake of the time. But then what we can do is then have one and then we've got two there. That is beautiful, absolutely lovely, gorgeous colours. Yeah, great job, Craig, uh, well done. Uh, everyone loving that, just, um, uh, Craig's gonna grab his cards and we're gonna do them over the show in just a second. Um, Lily's saying that she's just purchased the uh, Christmas uh, card, red, green and gold, roll on Christmas. Uh, yeah, like, it will be perfect for Christmas, but remember, save some, have it all year mm -hmm. round, it's amazing. Um, just love the card. Uh, can't believe how fast these shows go absolutely uh, and Craig the way you put the two hearts on the card can you do the same with the butterflies yes absolutely you mm -hmm. can do yeah, yeah. absolutely you can do. so you've got some corkers of a card over there Craig uh, really beautiful designs um, I think I have my favorite do you have yours so what have you got Craig right here so we've got four to choose from so first one new baby swinging card number one we have then got our autumn blessings so our stepper card number two we've got our concertina dies that we've got here is number three and then number four going back to our swinger cards here the double one is number four so four to choose from one two three or four you've got well a couple of minutes but one two three or four yeah, so you've actually got two minutes to get your votes in. So get voting on that two minutes. Let's show you what our hero tools are. Uh, the hero tool is something we bring to you, uh, which gives a really good offer on something that you just can't be without in your craft room. We have four scoring balls in this collection for 43.99, uh, saving a really good amount uh, and getting just so much for your money here. Uh, the first board is the one that I think I speak for Craig as well is our go-to this is the one we yeah. go to time and time again even if it's the slightest bit of scoring you see Craig use this on that swing card earlier uh, just putting those extra score lines in it makes a massive difference we always put this line just a, uh, a permanent marker down the center it means you can line things up uh, and go and look on YouTube Facebook uh, research all about uh, the scoreboard because you'll find that it's uh, it's a really worthwhile hero tool it has <laughs> centimetres on one side, inches on the other. It also has your scoring, which keeps it nice and neat inside there, so nice and tucked away. Um, also, it's very lightweight. You can take it to your craft room, to your craft crops, uh, wherever you need it. So that one is your score master. Then you've got the boxer board. So the boxer board does exactly what it says on the tin. It also will go on to your ultimate pro. It will create boxes, um, quite big or quite small, however you want them it has the lines on one side and the other really small increments on that one full instructions are included then we've got our amazing and this is the tool that started Sarah on her journey with crafters companion uh, she made this incredible enveloper plus uh, this board here was originally made in MDF it's the tool that is patented you won't find a tool like this anywhere else uh, if you want to get precision and cut and an envelope making down to 
into a fine art, this is the one for you. But you can see on here, we only do a select amount of cards, uh, envelopes that you can make on that one, which is why we then brought in the envelope box. Now the envelope box, similar design as you can see, apart from you can make really large envelopes on this. Comes with full instructions, everything you need to be able to make, not just envelopes, but envelope boxes. So all your boxes that act as that envelope. So you can make all your creations that you do, especially the concertina cards, you can put them then into nice uh, boxed envelope cards and that one is simple to use as well. So our hero tool today is $43.99 or $43.99. Uh, which is incredible value. Now, let's have a look and see if we've got a winner. So, demo of the day. Not just yet, not just yet. Uh, oh, we have, we have a winner. We have a winner. Not one, not two. Yes, three. Hey. <laughs> That's my favourite as well. I loved that one. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So if we look back at Craze card there, yes, we're going we to take another vote because it's all speeding along rather quickly. Uh, we're going to do that one. So if we do Craze card as number one. Uh, then we're going to do a number two is the, um, that's beautiful, I love that one with the masquerade ball. And number three, the Constantina framed card. So one, two and three. Um, so yeah, get voting on those and then we'll let you know which one the winner of those ones are. Beautiful makes today, Craig, I have to say. Thank you, Debbie. I think it's been a real hardship to vote on which ones that you like. Uh, every single make has been absolutely amazing. Next, Johnny, what are we up to? Autumn Blessings. Let's have a look at that. So let's bring in the board of this. Uh, honestly, when I pick this up, I can't believe what I'm saying, that you can buy this for 70% wow. saving. I mean, that is probably, it's like giving it away a little bit, isn't it? I mean, 17. In fact, I'm not going to show you none of these. I'm going to show you one die, which is this one here. This die itself, <coughs> excuse me, is 17 pounds. 17 pounds this is, which is amazing because you're getting all of those dies and all of the stamps. You saw Craig make that and make all these different uh, elements in here. 17 pounds, that's all you need to pay. Well, and a few pence more, 37 pence more. So I'm gonna pop that to the side. So bearing in mind, everything I'm showing you now is costing you 37 pence. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. These leaves are gonna last you all year round, but autumn especially. Uh, think of your Thanksgiving, Christmas cards, anything like that. Yeah, you've seen Craig use on that, uh, the one that won was the round wood slice. So that works with lots of different pieces. You also see Craig use on that, that one, uh, the thanks die. <clears throat> Amazing because it's the die and the stamp set. You're going to be using that time and time again. You're then getting all these different sentiments, which are amazing. And really um, uh, beautiful sentiments to send to someone. You are such a blessing. I mean, that is just beautiful. Uh, and you're getting two sets of those. They're completely different. So this one's Autumn Wishes. And then you're also getting those gorgeous stamp sets uh, with all those uh, pumpkins in them, which just look incredible. Uh, and, and really a, a good one to actually colour in the right amount of space. You see uh, Craig colouring that pumpkin in earlier, but you are getting all of these. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, all for 37 pence when you spend 17 pounds on this die and stamp set. Uh, incredible value, and you're saving so much today. So I'm gonna have a look, see what we've got. If we've got a Wemma demo of the day, demo of the day. Demo of the show, demo of the day. Uh, no, they're being all impatient there. Oh, we do, we have a demo of the day. Ooh. So, yours is number one, Craig. It is. Mine's number two here. It yep. wasn't that one. Ooh. So, between one and three. Both concertina. Both concertina, yes, so you're liking them one. Demo of the show goes to number one. Over Ooh. there, yeah, yeah absolutely. Number, Number one. one wins. So, uh, yeah, well done. I love that card. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Although I think you've had a real um, uh, treat today with all the cards that Craig has made because they are absolutely incredible. But it doesn't stop here. I know the show ends for you all today. But tomorrow we have an amazing day for you. In fact, I'm quite excited tomorrow because not only have I got a brilliant craft along before that wake up call, but the craft 
along with the gnome collection uh, it's the first time i've got my hands on it and i'm going to be doing a craft along um so yeah craig's going to be doing the uh, gnomes with me or the gnomes, gnomes. Um, but we're switching again so i'm going to be uh, the demonstrator tomorrow craig's going to be presenting it's just going to be so much fun it's our last day so i, I can't wait to just share that day with craig and have that last day but also jamie's going to be here tomorrow from creative expressions yes. uh, who's incredibly talented if you've not seen jamie's work before please tune in tomorrow he's going to be here throughout the day uh, with us both in the studio yep. it's going to be a fun packed day isn't it and honestly if it goes as quick as what it has today uh, i don't know what we're going to do we're no, just going to be speeding through the day um but you're we've loved having you with us we today have. it's been absolutely amazing craig it's been an absolute pleasure today thank you for making like my nice. side of things so easy oh, you you've been welcome. amazing you're been more than welcome amazing. thank you for also guiding me through as well yeah a fab day working together we don't get to, none of us get to we work together no. as much this yep. is why it's always nice that we get to pop in and give ben and uh, joe a helping hand absolutely and have our turns but yeah it's going to be good tomorrow I'm it is going to be very to good yeah, yeah very good and i get to rest up a little bit tomorrow as jamie's in which you is do. quite nice so i'll just go and put my feet up while jamie's in so uh, <laughs> craig craig gets the yeah, hardest job tomorrow <laughs> Yeah. I've planned that well, I've like. money's worth it before I go off. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, Crazy. Yeah. They're going to work you really hard on that last that's day. Uh, but it's going to be amazing. Thank you for all your comments today because you've just joined us throughout the whole day and it's been really welcoming for us uh, to do it as a, a crafty couple today, which is incredible. So thank you for joining us on uh, Creative Cravings and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone. Toodles.